News time! Hi everybody, welcome to BrickVault, this is Mike and welcome to our another weekly news update. First things first, we finally have this guy in our store. Check it out at www.brickvault.toys. The Thunder Jaw from Horizon Zero Dawn is available. Beautiful build from Nicola. We have instructions and parcels, so you wanna definitely have it in your collection. It's a beautiful build, amazing. As of this recording, I think the video about this smoke is up on our channel made by Jack, so that was pretty awesome to watch. Check it out if you haven't already. Also, this week's news, a uh, few good things happened. The new idea set was approved, so I'm super happy to announce that. Also, the Bugatti Chiron is finally out, a long-awaited Technic set, and a few other things also happened this week. So, we're gonna be talking all about this, and let's jump into the first bit of news. And I'm happy to start the news with the announcement that the next idea set that was approved for manufacturing is coming from... The JK Brickworks and Grant Davis. That's right, congratulations to JK Brickworks and Grant Davis for uh, the new idea set and that is the second set that was made into reality by JK Brickworks, the first one being the maze. Personally, I can say that the first time I saw the pop-up book from Jason, uh, I thought this is an excellent ideas material, so that turns out to be very true. People voted it pretty fast into the review stage and it was really standing out among all the other sets from that wave and I think it's gonna be a great idea because it just shows the creativity and the idea behind ideas that's supposed to be something unique every time. We had like three sets from Robin Ann, excellent builder that was able to put together the old fishing store and people were saying that well next buildings of his were pretty nice but at the same time I think it's good that the pop-up book uh, came out to be because that's just a great epitome of the ideas platform and uh, I'm gonna be very happy to see that set on the shelf. So congratulations again, JK Brickworks aka Jason and Grant Davis for that amazing achievement and we uh, as Brickworld cannot wait to get our hands on this set. And that's gonna be pretty soon because according to LEGO this set should hit the shelves later this year in the second half of 2018 we should see the pop-up book to appear on the shelves. Alright, moving on, we have June, that's June 2nd as of this recording and that means the first wave of LEGO Summer 2018 set is readily available in your LEGO stores, so you can head out to your nearest LEGO store and pick up things like the newest Bugatti Chiron. This beautiful car is already on the shelves, it was announced on June 1st. Jack did a great video about the announcement, also there is a designer video, I'm gonna link both below if you wanna check out the set. This one is available for $349.99 currently. It hosts 3,599 pieces, so that's a really big decking set. And for me, as a blue color fan, this thing looks simply amazing. Plus, Bugatti Chiron is one of the marvels of uh, current car engineering, so having that as a set is a really good thing for all the collectors. Also the city hospital is available and other things like the city arctic and uh, other themes got things too. We did a really uh, big video about all the new sets uh, like two weeks ago so you want to check that out too. But all these right now are available so you can just get them from your nearest lego store. With more interesting unveilings we have a set called the lego brand store set number 40305. Alan Tran from the brick fund reported some time ago that this set was supposed to be a promo set like a gift with purchase at some point but this set uh, happened to appear in Legoland Billund for 229 crowns. So I don't know how that translates to a US price but it seems like this set will be for sale so hopefully we're gonna be able to get it here in the US at some point. The set looks pretty decent, it's a two-story uh, Lego brand store building, a vastly different set than the one we had for the promo for opening the stores. Those are pretty fun but this one is a bit expanded with a second story and a second minifigure. Uh, looks pretty cool, it has one by two bricks with printed uh, sets on them so that's another great addition and yep we just have to wait for this set to show up in the US at some point. No details on that yet, but we're gonna keep you updated. In more announcements or unveilings, we have the new poly bags, the accessory poly bags called the LEGO Extra. These seem to be like small packs of accessories, including bikes, food elements, benches, traffic lights, whatnot, different accessories to make your city go live. They started to appear in different LEGO brand stores in Europe, so I think they should hit the shelves here in the US soon. It is actually reported that they are available, should be available around June 1st, so maybe around now, I haven't checked our local stores yet, but that's a pretty cool thing, considering the fact that most of the time those pieces go in bigger sets, so having some just extra cheap 
uh, packs of accessories to just, um, you know, fulfill your city or your mocks, whatnot, is a great idea. I don't know how much they will go for. They seem like a five to maybe top $10 bags at most. So we're gonna see how that goes. And once we know the price, we're gonna let you know. And one more fun thing appeared in the Polish catalog. Those are the Elsa and Anna and Olaf brickheads, sets number 41617 for Elsa and 41618 for Anna and Olaf double pack. These appeared in a Polish catalog of Lego recently, so they should be appearing in the US market very soon. That expands the brickheads line a lot by three new characters and I guess those will be crazily popular among kids and younger fans of the Frozen, Disney Frozen, one of the most popular cartoons like ever. Great stuff, uh, those join uh, things like Harry Potter, we have already a bunch of characters from Harry Potter appearing in the upcoming Brickheads, Star Wars have Darth Vader and the Stormtrooper that Jack reported on last week, and also the Ghostbusters are getting Peter Venkman and Slimer. Speaking of Ghostbusters, here we have the official pics for the box and some details on those guys. Many people were wondering how Slimer is floating as a brickhead. You can see that he just has a clear transparent stand to make him look like he's floating. Cool stuff and I said that before, I'm really waiting for those. Uh, Ghostbusters must be one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, even childhood, adult, I don't care, I love this movie so much. So getting Venkman and Slimer in one pack is excellent. I can't wait for those to appear, they should be very soon. Uh, they have 228 pieces in the box, the retail price should be around $20. And I hope we can see them somewhere soon, in June hopefully. Also those sets were announced already, the amazing Harry Potter line that's coming soon. But now we have the official um, box art for all these sets including the Grindelwald's Escape 75951 with 132 parts for $20. I haven't seen the box yet, so this looks pretty cool. There's the Hogwarts Whomping Willow 75953 with 753 parts for $70. Some of these did not have their uh, parts counts updated, so I'm glad to see that being unveiled. The next one is Hogwarts Great Hall, a set that was announced some time ago, 75954 with 878 parts for a $100 price. Uh, the box art looks pretty good with that knight in the background, I gotta say that. The next one is the long-awaited Hogwarts Express, 75955 with 801 parts for $80. And there is the Quidditch match, 75956 with 500 pieces even for $40. So there you go, the nice box art. Uh, I like the colors, they seem very bluish or just magic as Harry Potter goes. So uh, me being a blue color fan, that's why I like this Chiron so much, I guess those boxes are a pretty good representation of how cool those sets are. In more LEGO news, we have the new month, so that means a new LEGO store calendar has dropped. We have July 2018 coming. This one doesn't seem like a month full of new LEGO unveilings, but there are a few cool things happening. We have the free exclusive LEGO Beach tote bag for a purchase of $199 or more. There is a similar promotion that was running along the mountain cave from Minecraft with a different uh, tote bag for the same value. This will run from June 30 to July 8th or while supplies last. Another gift with purchase is the free party banana a minifigure for a purchase of $35. You can get this guy from July 9 to 15. This guy was shown some time ago, but so glad to know how we can get him right now. The calendar states that you can also each week in July test your creativity at the LEGO store with a new exciting building challenge. Not sure what that means yet, but apparently builders can get to display their creation in stores. The build experience changes every Monday, so be sure to check out with your local LEGO store what's about that. The whole month gives you double VIP points on two creator sets, the Sunshine Surfer Van and the Modular Winter Vacation, so if you haven't picked those up yet, that's a good deal to get. July 10, 11 is the monthly mini model build, this time around we have a portable grill, I think, it looks pretty cool. July 16 is your usual minifigure swap Monday. And we have two periods of new VIP early access sets, July 18 to 31 is the first one and July 23rd to 31 is the second one, so we have two sets dropping in uh, like a period of five days. That's awesome, we don't know what that is, that might be something from Harry Potter or at least something big I think. Every time they do an exclusive access there is something significant to pick, so can't wait for those to be unveiled. 
July 21st and 28th are the LEGO Live meetings. And on July 26th, there's an event called Dream It, Build It, Keep It. And according to the description on the back of the calendar, it's an event when everyone who signs up can get one of four different mystery boxes full of LEGO elements and then use them and your creativity to build some amazing cool LEGO model to take home for free. This one is limited for ages 5 to 14 and you can sign in any LEGO store around you. So I guess to sum this up, the most exciting thing is the two mysterious VIP early access sets that are dropping in a difference of 5 days and that definitely keeps me excited to wait for July. In some video games news, we have the LEGO DC Super Villains video game coming. First there was a teaser showing that the game is actually happening and then we had the announcement trailer showing some details about the gameplay. The game is scheduled to be launched on the 19th of October. I'm not playing this personally, but many of you might be interested. And from the trailer, it definitely looks a lot of fun. One cool fact with this game is that uh, it comes with an exclusive minifigure if you get uh, one of the packages of Nintendo Switch, Xbox One or PlayStation 4 Deluxe Editions, you get the exclusive Lex Luthor that wears an unarmored Superman suit. I guess we're gonna have to find a way to get our hands on this one. Another LEGO Media announcement was the trailer for the newest Season 9 from Ninja Go. This is called The Hunted. And we already know the sets that are coming, having this Mad Max vibe that we have shown before. I think the trailer kind of connects with that as well. I don't watch Ninja Go personally, but hey, we're gonna get those sets and I think many of them are really amazing. Of course, the links to all the trailers or video announcements I'm talking about can be found in the description below, so don't forget to check out the original source. And if you guys are fans of the Netflix show called The Toys That Made Us, the long-awaited LEGO episode is finally available. This 44-minute long episode talks about the history of... And towards the end of this episode, let's jump into the LEGO Ideas section for a second. If you don't know what LEGO Ideas is, it's a website where you can submit your LEGO creations, then people vote for them, and after 10,000 supporters, they can get approved, like this pop-up book from JK Brickworks. Again, congratulations to Jason and Grant Davis for this amazing achievement. I can't wait for this set personally. And I want to highlight one more set today, those are the magnetic bumper cars from Bricky Brick. And I chose this one because with the current hype for the Creator Roller Coaster, amazing set by the way, I think the bumper cars are something that is still missing in somewhat of this fairground theme that LEGO is creating around the Creator line. So maybe that's a hint that they should make the bumper cars. And definitely the design from Bricky Brick is a pretty cool one. It's a magnetic one, so they actually, I think, stick to the surface. And there's a functionality for play feature that you can move around those guys mechanically and just have fun bumping into each other like you do in the real fairground. Pretty cool stuff, so I hope this set opens eyes to LEGO or maybe they may have this already in their minds for the next creator uh, fairground set. Probably something that you really cannot miss on. Good luck Bricky Brick on getting this set into the uh, elusive review stage, I hope it's gonna get there pretty soon. Alright, and that's gonna be it for this week's news update. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, you can leave a like right below and subscribe to our channel if you enjoy our content. And don't forget to click that bell button to basically know whenever we upload a new video. Also, don't forget to visit our web store at www.brickvault.toys to find out many mocks like this one. This is like the latest one, Thunder Joe. We're really excited to have this and I think we should uh, find a name for him, like a pet in our studio. So if you have a good ideas for a name for this guy, let us know in the comment section below. All right, that's it. It was Mike and we'll see you next time on Brick Vault. Thank you.